Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about Angular reactive form nested arrays. So what is nested array? Um, here's the example. Uh, there's a form, a form group, we call it uh, Class 2020 Bio Law, uh, Boston University Law School. Uh, let's you can add any numbers to this uh, group. So you can add a new member, call it Susan. And they join is today's date, default, and you can add a hobby, any number of hobbies. Uh, say so that her hobby is traveling now you can add any number of members and each member can have any number of hobbies so that is the nested array uh, form arrays uh, so you have a form group each member is belongs to an array and you can have any number of members and each member can also have any number of hobbies it's fairly straightforward um, there are buttons to add a hobby remove a hobby add a member remove a member uh, so you can marked by the inner array is marked with the blue and the outer array is marked with the red. It's actually it's uh, indigo and pink. Yeah. Okay. Now let's look at some of the code. Uh, the official Angular documentation is not very clear, uh, not as detailed. So here uh, this is your component. I assume you're already familiar with this reactive form thing. Uh, so the the biggest uh, form is just outer form is called hobby group form. So you are creating a form for a hobby group. And this form has a name, the uh, group name, uh, which is required is the BO Law, yeah, BO Law School 2020. Now, the members is an array. So this is the outer array, the first array. And this member, whenever you create a member, when you add a member, this method is triggered by that uh, uh, the kind of pink button. Uh, you create another form group. So if for each member, it's a form group. It has a member name, like a Claire, uh, Joe, whatever name you want. And then besides that string member name, you have a date join, which initializes to today's date um, using the patch value method. So member.patchValue date join equals this today. So this today is initialized here. Today equals new date. The new date method defaults to today's date, whatever your computer system date. Now here, the hobbies under this each new member actually is another form uh, form array so these this is the nested form array you have a big form group has an array of members and for each member whenever you create it it has an array of hobbies they're nested now to remove this existing member or existing remove a hobby it's fairly straightforward it's for the member because at top level uh, form array you don't need a handle you just get the use this hobby group form to get this get the array of members and remove the ith member uh, remember, ith starts with the zero. This uh, JavaScript arrays, yeah. Pretty much every programming language, uh, the array starts with the zero. The same for removing or adding a hobby. So, hobby has just one field, hobby name, yeah. Of course, you can have another array of things for a hobby. Uh, but uh, um, here, for simplicity, we just nest it once. If you want a deeper nest, you can just uh, repeat, rinse and repeat. It's fairly straightforward. And when you remove a hobby, you have to pass it to the hobby array uh, because you won't have a handle. There are any number of members. You can have 10, 50 different members. So um, here we just have a remove hobby method. To You have to accept. Uh, this method has to accept an array so that it knows which member it is removing a hobby from. So, so here this hobbies form array is an array belonging to a particular member like Sue or Claire. So, so we have a add member, remove member, add a hobby, remove hobby method. Um, now here is the template. Uh, so template is fairly straightforward. Uh, first you have uh, some uh, text. You have this uh, form equals hobby group form. That's the big form, the parent of every other components, yeah, of form components, yeah. And we have some styling here. Here we display the form, the group name, the bio law thing here. Yeah. So it's an input field. And after that, there's the button to add a member. It's fairly straightforward, just to trigger that function I just showed you. And after that, you have two uh, divisions, the outer and inner division. This part you need to pay a little bit of attention. Uh, so this division has ng if directive. So if there's no member, there's zero members, you just don't display it. This doesn't make any sense to display it. And if the length is greater than zero, so um, the method you use is get members, the form control name, uh, the form group name, 
get the form array and here the syntax is square brackets with controls um, previously i think in earlier versions of the angle you can use just dot controls here you have to use the square at least for angle version 10 you need to use square, square brackets with controls and then if length is greater than zero you will display this chunk of division uh, otherwise you don't display anything because there's no member uh, form array name is members of course that's the form array names defined on the hobby group form and then within this division so this division is for all the members you will create individual component for each member so for the, you loop through all the member ng4 directive let member of hobby group get members control so this is again a rinse and repeat right and this part is mandatory so let i equals index or index as i it doesn't matter which syntax you use and you need to use you need to use form group name equals i this part is mandatory um, you may mistakenly think okay i just loop through the members i'm done no you have to use this guy and for each member we have we display the member name and date joined which defaults to today's date a date picker and then there's a delete member button which triggers that remove member you pass this index of the member and it's got deleted when you remove it now for each hobby you have to add hobby the add hobby button is at the member level you just need one button to add the hobby right but once you add the hobby you will have again nested divisions the outer division and you loop through uh ng if if there's a at least one hobby you would display, display this chunk and here the anchor is actually member which is the loop uh, looping element of the previous components you can see here ng4 let member of a hobby group uh, get members so this member now appears here so it's a nested uh, form arrays uh, you for each member you get all its hobbies and if there's at least one hobby you would display this chunk and you will again the former renames hobbies and you can use this uh yeah the inner loops again is ng4 loop through all the hobbies it just rinse and repeat it and this time you use j equals index form group name equals j um, so this part is mandatory again you have to use the index so this is basically how you do it nested to form a race and the syntax you just remember you have to use the square brackets and you have to use this index it's mandatory Okay, that's it for today.